Cause I promise you, promise I'm better now Wouldn't hold it against you If you say that you don't want to get close to me Close to what we used to be But I just feel like dancing Are you feeling it too? Oh baby Won't you love me? Won't you love me? Won't you love me? Love me like yesterday Don't you feel it? How it feels, baby Alright guys, so today Kelsey and I had a very impromptu day together with Sophia and then we went and picked up Jack as well. I had a pedicure appointment this morning and Kelsey and I were on the phone and I was like, hey, why don't you just come and meet me up here with Sophia? So she did and we went back and got Jack and we went and had lunch at the best Thai place. Did you love it? So good. It was so, so good. good. What is it called? It is called Thai... Buri? Thai Buri, I think. So delicious. Really if you're in San Antonio, it's over here off of Bandera. Just just look it up. It's really good. I'll leave a link right. below in the description. Anyway. And, and, uh, yes. And they have very good drinks. They do have very good drinks. They and have good food. They do. The mango ice cream was phenomenal, though. Yeah. I think it's like a super and big. strawberry ice cream. Do they? Yeah. Okay. I didn't see any of that, but I'll take your word for it. Anyway, yeah, so strawberry ice cream. we had mango ice cream. Mango strawberry. Okay, so I get all of these comments from people. Like every few videos, I will get a comment from someone who says, "I miss Kelsey. Where's Kelsey?" And it's so crazy to me that you guys know we're connected. But yeah. I think some people only know my channel because of your channel, because you had talked before about your dad and. Somehow they know who we are. So, I said, you know what, Kelsey? <laughs> we need to do a video. And I've left comments back saying she's just busy, but I think people don't believe me. So, yeah. I'm going to drive, and I think we should have a nice little chat. Can you hold it? Okay. Hi. How are you good with that? Cool. So I have been doing really well. I actually have... I was working a little bit. I, I'm still working a little bit part time. Um, I'm very involved in the kids' school. I took up a hobby playing soccer, so I train. I train uh, with a coach and a team, and we play indoor soccer. And so yeah, and then that's been good for you. Like oh my gosh, so good. Like mentally, physically, yes. everything. I I love it. If I don't play, I see my mental health I feel my physical health and it's going okay. <laughs> um like this week I was like I have to go to practice because Sophia has been sick mm -hmm. um and she has not been feeling well at all for like two weeks and it's been really rough and so I've been home with her and I was like I've got to do something for myself and I've got to go train so I went and it was the best thing for me because I could come back and be a better mom yeah for sure mm -hmm. so how is um how are things? I know that you shared on your channel about struggling with depression and anxiety. Mm -hmm. Obviously, you said that soccer and working out is helping you with that. Yeah. But other than that, how how are things in that area? Really good. I've been really good for a while now. Um, I had my counselor had me take supplements and vitamins, and so I've been on vitamin D. Um, I take a supplement for ADHD, which is called Alpha something Alpha and GABA and HTP, 5-HTP, which all helps your body, body naturally produce serotonin and um, mm -hmm. dopamine and all of that. Just balance out all the chemicals in your brain. So when you're struggling with that kind of stuff, it's because mm -hmm. your chemicals mm -hmm. are not aligned and not mm -hmm. balanced properly. So we got that all worked out and I feel great and That's I haven't so had to be on like time. pharmaceutical meds or anything like that. I just take natural Where's supplements that? and they're and good. working working so great. That is so wonderful. That is so great. Yes. 
so you've had a good summer. The kids are mm -hmm. out of school. School starts back in two weeks. Yeah, summer went by way too quickly. I am the type of person that would just love my kids home all the time. Um, if I could homeschool, I would. You could. I could. Oh, I could, but David doesn't want it, and neither do my kids. Mm -hmm. So. Totally understandable it is my not kids. for everyone. When yeah. we went into like lockdown and had to do like homeschool stuff, they hated being home 24-7. They just yeah. hated it. Yeah. Uh, they didn't like not being in contact with their friends because school is very social. The, the the social aspect of it is what they love so much. And then I'm just not a great teacher. Like their teachers are phenomenal and they they get a lot out of it. And so they just love school and they couldn't homeschool. But if I could have it my way, I would have them home all the time. So I love, love summer because I get them home all the time. Look, we're at a red light. Kids <laughs> have their own mind. Free thinker. He thinks he knows what he's doing. Get that seatbelt on right now. Right. Hurry up before this light changes, Jack. Um. <laughs> so, how are you and your dad? Like, how often are y'all getting to see each other? I get how up. how are things there? Oh, I love like I love having y'all close. It's unfortunate yeah. that we don't see each other enough. I just life, you know. With they have Everybody kids, we have kids. We're just, you know. And it's no pressure. It's not like, we're not over here saying, Kelsey, it's been two no, months since we've yes. seen you. And you're not doing the same thing to us. And like, I love that. lives that they have to live. And it's like, we get sad, of course, and we're like, when we spend time together like this, we're like, why don't we do it more? But then it's just like, it just is what it is. And we just, do when we get together, we value it, we cherish it, and it's fun, and it's great. You know, and then time flies and we're like ah. and it's the end of summer like yeah. I wanted to do so last year me and Kel Kelsey and I took Matthew her brother my he was 12 at the time but my 13 year old and uh Sophia and Christian her kids and we all went and we stayed the, I guess five of us went and stayed one night in Houston and we went to NASA for the whole day and that was so fun and I wanted to do something like that this summer and we've just run out of time and the rest of your summer is booked before school starts back so I really You'll have to, to do it go. during school. Yeah, like just take a weekend and do it. Well, Y'all get those Friday breaks. Yeah. So Y'all have. We get out early release on Fridays. Yeah. So we just need to plan it. I want to go and take y'all. We went on a vacation that I'll be sharing with you guys soon, or maybe by the time this is published, I already have. That's not we went to. Be super shaky. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. We went to. We're just using my phone. We went to Houston, and we ended up going to the downtown aquarium, and it was awesome. Okay, Jack. You have to stop talking over me. Jack, lower your voice. So I want to take them back to the aquarium because one thing we didn't do was eat at the restaurant and I hear that that's like the most amazing part. So I wanted to take Christian, Sophia, and Matthew on another trip back and um, go to that aquarium, go to the aquarium and have uh, a meal in the restaurant. So that'll be so fun. Yes. We'll, we'll do it. We'll do it for sure. Um, we'll just have to make time. We had a really good time last time we went to NASA. That so was fun. So we'll do it again. So, um, so you and your dad, y'all need to plan a breakfast. Yeah, we were doing it often. We're like, every other week or so, we would get together, go have breakfast or a lunch and just spend the day. And then he would go with me to go pick up my kids and then I'd drop them off. And sometimes me and you do it. And so that's always really fun. Um, with my husband's schedule, it's a lot easier to do during the school year when the kids are in school. That way I get that like one-on-one -on -one time because sometimes it's hard when you have all the kids with you and you have to take them along. It's fun, but then you want those times with just you and I have adult conversation and we're right. And you don't have so. a child. <laughs> so yeah, we do that during the school year more. And then um, we always try to get, she's really good about doing like birthday dinners for people and so she's always like hey we're having a birthday dinner there's always a birthday always. with our big old family <laughs> and so um, those are times that we get together too um, so yes what else what else Tell what else more. so are you gonna get back to youtubing <laughs> i don't know i miss you the people have spoken I want to. Okay, here's the thing. Like, I like it. I want to do it. It is more time consuming than you think. 
but let me just say, Kelsey was editing my videos for a long time, and now yeah. life is busy, so I've been having to edit them. And I just, I don't want y'all to think that it's her editing this stuff because I am like, I watch them get back once they're on TV. I'm like, this makes me so dizzy. I have to learn how to edit better. And the only way to learn is to do it. And I'm hoping that my husband can help too. And then as Kelsey's schedule allows, she can help more again. And then I'm hoping that one of my teenagers can learn. To, I know he knows how to do it. It's just a matter of getting our processes in place. But yes, there is a lot. Into there's, so much. there's so much that goes into it and I just really have a lot to work on too like um, I have a lot of insecurity when I do it to be honest and sometimes I found that it was like bringing me down a lot like I would rewatch and be like Ugh. Um, and I've always said like if I have a channel I want it to bring value I don't want it to just be you know all about me 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 I do want it to be that something that's helpful and encouraging and just a good space and I just felt like I couldn't provide that for a little bit so I don't know we'll see I get I got in the funk and like a little rut like I couldn't figure out what I was gonna do and well I think you were too focused on what is my channel gonna be about yes and the you content don't have like to just comedy. listen if you will just create content, comedy. <laughs> if you will just create content you will begin to get into a group but you'll also begin to understand what people like from you but also as an online influencer, I know that when we're creating things, whether it's a social media platform or blog content or whatever, we are creating a certain amount of content that will do well for search so that people can find us. And then we're creating a certain amount of content that builds community. And we sometimes get too much in our head on everything needs to be something that's gonna make our channel grow, 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 but we need to be building that community as well. So you just gotta get out of your head Listen, I know that in two years I'm going to look back at these videos that I've made this yeah. first year and I'm going to be like, what? Um, that was a nut, messy, yeah. like, that was crazy, that was so crazy. I refuse to look back at videos. I but, I just, yeah. unless they have my kids yeah. in them, like, and that's another thing I miss is having those videos with my kiddos, like. Well, because it's your memories. Yes, it was, yeah. it's so nice to look back and see them and they were so little and look so. Look back on your vacation yes. or, yeah. I do like that and I. I regret not doing any of that this year. And, well, gosh, I guess it's been like two years since I made a video. It's been a while since you made a video. So I think you just gotta get out of your head and stop thinking that things have to be a certain way yeah. or everything has to meet the need of, you know, what is this channel about? We're gonna have Jack start his own YouTube channel and it's gonna be called Crazy Boy. <laughs> doesn't stop talking. Crazy oh, World. Crazy World. I've never seen somebody talk as much as Jack. Me I mean, like, it, he just never stops. The child, you know, it's like the city that never sleeps. It's the child that never talks. I mean, never stops talking. I think <laughs> every time you're around him, like, if it's been a few months since you've been around him, and then we go do something, you're like, does he stop? No. no. He's full of energy. He's full of physical energy and mouthy energy. YouTube is a baby. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Okay. We should have seen. I don't know. So, what is it like? So comment and like below if you would like to see more videos. Yes, please, please, like Kelsey know. Um, do you have to get that? Yeah. Okay, we'll come back. We back. We back. <laughs> we have to take a phone call. By we, I need her. So we're parked now. I love my toes. This kid's out of his seat. Your toes look fantastic. Gilo got me a petty. I did. Please don't do that. So, um, all right. So what other updates can we get them? How are, how are you and your brothers? How do you think things are going there? Good. Brothers, when I so when I first met my brothers, they were just at an age like. First of all, I mean it was all hard for everybody to process, right? Probably harder for them and their. I think at first they were like okay, and then we yeah. moved here and they were away from all their friends, and after about three months hard. they were like, "Why did we move?" Yeah. <laughs> well, because. Your dad and I said we're moving, so here we are. Yeah, and suck it up, buttercup. It was hard, like <laughs> Sophia. It down. Um, it was hard, and like my kids weren't really getting along with them, and because they're all so they were close just in all age, yeah. It was like a rolling the window. Oh, down. that was me. <laughs> they're just in a weird. They were in a weird like. So they're how many years apart? So Christians yeah, just turned eleven. Them. Matthew just turned thirteen. So they're more like sibling and cousin age. Right. 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 And then, um, so it was just going through, that was really difficult to try to balance that and like navigate it with them. 
And so there was a lot of friction at first with the brothers. And then I feel like even Christian and I will talk about this. Every time we leave their house, it just gets better and better. And like as they've matured and gotten older, my kids have matured and gotten older. I've learned how to navigate it to not be such a like mama bear. Um, I think that it's gotten so much better. And when we see them, every time we leave, we're just like, wow. Like, it's so cool how we're so close now. Christian will go paintballing with them and just is full of smiles. There's no complaints. It's like, the boys are like, we had a really good time. Thank you for letting Christian go. Yeah, so, you know, it's been great. Well, so here's what eventually kind of happened. So we moved and at first everybody's like, okay, we're just getting acclimated to being moved here. And then the boys are like, why did we have to move? And why did we have to leave our friends? And okay, well, you know what people move so I really am just a person who's like suck it up buttercup and you just got to keep going right um so then there became the rivalry that was very like cousin sibling type rivalry yeah. and and then there's that age gap between the teenagers the older teenagers so Nick and Luke are 16 where Christian is 11 mm -hmm. okay so then Matthew's 13 so Matthew and Christian are closer in age um but then there was that gap of like there's not as much common ground between, especially once you're into the teen years and then not in the teen years yet, right? Mm -hmm. But now they have found common ground. So yeah. like she was saying, Christian likes paintballing. So last summer, Matthew played soccer with Christian for a season. Mm -hmm. That was fun. And then this year, we have learned that Christian likes paintballing and Nick is so into Whoa. paintballing. And so, Christian's been going paintballing with us and it has been fun. Like Nick has kind of taken him under his wing and he's like, okay, because Nick's trying to like be serious about his paintballing. But at the same time, he's like, I'll I teach you what you want to, you know, I'll teach you some things, whatever. Mm -hmm. And it has been fun. Second. They it's have, been um, fun. it's been some bonding experiences. It's been nice. Mm -hmm. So everybody's just growing up and kind of finding their place. And everybody just needed to kind of give each other some time and some space to say, okay, we all need to figure out where our place is and all yeah. of this. And I said, in that first year, I remember saying multiple times, I just oh. want us to get down the road where we're four or five years down the road and we know what the new norm is. Yes. And I feel like we're getting there. Like, oh, yeah. It's been four years. I feel like I feel like we've kind of been there and it's like we, we got there faster than I had anticipated. Right. And at first it seemed like it's never going to happen. Um, well, there's good. And just to be honest, you know, and throw that out there and just, it, it was a challenge. There was some challenges. But at the end of the day, we all really care about each other. We all have a great time. We get along really well. Like her and I have gotten along the whole time really well. My what dad and like? I have. What it's is honestly it like having a stepmother that's only ten years younger than it's you. It's the best. What is that like? Please it is, tell me. It has been the best. Her and I have been the best. Um, just the best. Things with my dad have been the best. It's honestly, it just She's all came down best. to like the kids. Just I'm getting the best. Yeah. Just getting the kids situation was yeah. really the biggest wrench and everything but I I mean it it wasn't terrible no, it we just worked terrible. through it we just right. worked through it's it. it's not terrible it's mm -hmm. just you have to meet everybody where they're at mm -hmm. and give everybody time to and there's so many of us and so many different personalities and so much to work through um but we did it I mean my dad even went to a counseling session with me yeah like we did what we had to do and we yeah. all wanted it yeah. so it worked out Absolutely. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. um, so, yes, that is just some real talk about all of that. On the real, so real. Yeah. Um, Even my mom is in the picture and, you know, getting along with my mom, with my dad and, and mm -hmm. Crystal. And it's, I like her mom a lot. Mm -hmm. I think her mom is a great they person. They do things together. and Her mom introduced me to the lash person that I started seeing back in December for my lashes. And then that person is no longer doing lashes. So I've had to move. I can't stand else. the lash deal. <laughs> It's great. It's fantastic. Um, I do. I think your mom is great. I think Kyler is great. I love your grandma on your mom's side. I love your aunt. I love David's family. I. They're just good people. Yeah. Um, We're really blessed. We have a really good mm -hmm. family, extended family, um, on both sides. So mm -hmm. it's great. It is. It's super awesome. So, what would you tell someone, Kelsey, who is going through something where they want to find their biological father? So, like, okay, those of you who don't know our story, can you give them like a yeah. thirty-second quick condensed version? Yeah. So, my mom and dad were about seventeen uh, when they dated very briefly. My mom ended up getting 
pregnant um, and she was like in the midst of like a breakup from a long-term boyfriend when her my mom her my dad met so she didn't know if I belonged to him or him and then had me thinking it was her long-time boyfriend um, did it keep recording yeah okay. then after they they after they had me he wanted a paternity test got one found out I wasn't his by then you know it had been a long time she didn't know where my dad was and how to locate him and she was very young and life went on uh, she got married to the father who raised me um, when I was about two and that's all I knew for a long time I kind of knew I, I kind of like always knew knew he wasn't my biological dad like I looked nothing like him and his but your mom didn't family make a secret. but she, she never, never hid right. it from me either yeah. it was always so I just like that's all I knew was that he wasn't my dad but he was my dad like right. you know she never tried to convince you this no. is your biological mm -hmm. dad and no, I, no. Can, I respect that yeah never ever ever um and she was very honest with I don't know who it is <laughs> like I just I don't know um and so then years years later I, I mean I always wanted to find him I the only thing she knew about him was that his parents owned a pizza place in San Antonio um and I had tried to locate it, tried to type, try to find stuff out about it, but it had only been like open for like a year, right? Play. Yeah. yeah, something like that. It was that. very short lived. And then, um, so I never found any information on it. And then somebody told me about ancestry.com. So I ordered a kit, took my DNA and bada bing, bada boom. So it connects her to our yeah. family. <laughs> Long story short there, it connects to her, to our family. It actually connected you to grandma, right? On uh, no. some level. No, grandma had taken it before, but she had taken her information down or put it on private so or something. So it connected you to a distant so cousin. So it connected me to a distant cousin who I contacted. I contacted everybody that was like a close match. Um, and I was like, hi, looking for my biological father. I don't want anything from him. If he wants a relationship, that's great. But I just want to know who he is. Like, I just am curious. And that's all I need. Like I, I didn't want him to think that I was coming after anything, you yeah. know? So I would send just like a very generic message to, and I just copy and pasted it, sent it to everybody. And then somebody came back and was like, oh, and I would tell him like he had a pizza place with his family. Um, we know that they were Puerto Rican. That's all we really kind of knew. That was it. Mm -hmm. Um, and then he came back and was like, well, my, the only family member of ours that has moved to San Antonio is my cousin Ruben and his family and he has a set of looking twins for grandpa my father-in-law has a set of twins that are in the age range you're looking for and so you know there's their names and searched and found them on Facebook and then you stalked us for a while stalked them for a little bit like <laughs> probably a week or two and then that's so crazy I was like checking their Facebook because I didn't know like do I want to disrupt their no lives I'm not <laughs> Do I want to disrupt their lives? Do I want to like, or do I just want what I wanted is just to know who he was and that's it. You know, like I, my, the, the one thing I didn't want to do was to just come in and like cause chaos for his family because I saw that he had kids and a wife and like, what would that do for them? You know, <laughs> I was really like, that's very kind of, you I was really more that. concerned about that than anything. Like, I don't want to. It's not fair to his family and right. but then at the same time I was like if I had a daughter like I would want to know you know and from what I understood he didn't know right and I just wanted him to make that choice for himself like right. if he wanted a relationship with me or not and either way I was gonna be okay I had lived my whole life without one I was gonna figure it out that was my mentality right so our youngest two kids our youngest two boys Jack and Luke Henry are adopted and there you read a post on that and you saw where grandma your grandma, oh, my yeah. mother-in-law, mm -hmm. Lenny's mom, said, "When are you gonna? When are you gonna adopt that little girl someday?" Yeah. So and then I knew he didn't have a girl. And you were like, "You, you, you I'm right here. You yeah. have a daughter. Don't." <laughs> I was like, Ugh. So I ended up leaving a message on his Facebook page, and yeah, he contacted a private message. A private message. Oh yeah, a, a yeah. private message. And then, um, yeah, it was weird. Like I waited and waited. He hadn't seen it, hadn't seen it, hadn't seen it. Hadn't seen it. And then um, I saw, I was like swinging on a swing and I was talking to my mom. And I was like, 
I don't know if he's ever going to read it. I don't know how often he's on his Facebook and what? what if he doesn't want anything to do with me. Then I started regretting leaving the message and I was like, oh, and I wanted to take it all back and I couldn't. And then I remember just swinging on my kid's swing out in the backyard and a notification came up on my phone that said it was a sad face and then it went away and it was a heart and then so typical of your dad hit the wrong button <laughs> so typical <laughs> and then out of nowhere my phone rings and it was dallas number and i knew it was him because i had just got that notification and then you know i got the call and the Don't first thing he though. said was i love you i love you and i was like what <laughs> and he's like then next he said you have eight brothers <laughs> and y'all oh i had been praying that i'd have a sister no sisters i was like i just want a sister i've been wanting a sister my whole life no sisters i grew up with two brothers i wanted a sister so bad and then i got eight brothers so you have That's 10 funny. brothers mm -hmm. yeah so crazy so yeah so there it is so they have a long conversation they are like figuring all this out i'm not at home when this conversation happens i come home i come home i had been at a meeting and I come home and my husband's in the bedroom crying and he comes out to the living room to greet me and he tells me to come in the bedroom and we don't really go and have private conversations. We generally just, life happens and there. Like we're not, everything's behind closed doors, right? Everybody does it different, that's how we are. So I'm like, what's going on? Is everything okay? He brings me in the bedroom and he's crying and I'm like, okay. And I can hear a female on the other, he's holding the phone and I can hear a female crying wail like all of y'all are just wailing yeah right? and i'm like is everything okay did something happen and so he says i have to tell you something okay i have a daughter and i said okay how old is she and i was like because i thought he was about to tell me you know oh and he says she's you were 30 or were you 31 you were 31 i think you were 30 turning 31 and i was like um, just it. Okay. He says she's 30, 31, and I said, Oh, well, she's not four. Like, yeah, this is okay. We've both been married once before. And I was like, Let me talk to her. It's fine. And so I was like, I told you, I had expected something like this always because so weird. it is so weird. We used, Lenny and I used to watch Long Lost Family together, and, and I was watching it too. And Lenny would be Lenny, like, How does someone not know Lenny? that they have a child out there? And I said, Lenny. <laughs> I mean, if anybody is in relations before they're married, that could happen. You know, like you just, it could happen. And I would always joke and say, you're going to get a knock on the door someday. And he didn't get a knock on the door. He got a Facebook message. <laughs> <laughs> but there you go. And so then fast forward, like everybody meets. I'll link to you the video of them meeting for the first time, which that was not really supposed to be recorded. It just happened no. to be recorded. Yeah. So what happened was like we had discussed, Crystal and I had discussed um, back and forth on Messenger, like how we wanted this to be. Mm -hmm. Like we, I know my family really like wanted to be there and see it. But you have to understand, like, in in his mind, what like, this information running. was kept from him, you know? So, it was kind of like a, that was too soon to introduce, like, everybody, yeah. the whole situation, you know? It was yeah. just, we thought it would be better to just have our immediate families, like, just our, my kids and their kids and them. Oh, Actually, no. not even their kids. They didn't even think that they were going to have the boys come. We ended up having, because we were running for um, and so we were, it, initially it was supposed to be just me and David and my dad and Crystal, and that was going to be it. Um, and then they were like really, really, really late, <laughs> like so late. Lenny Lopez always um, late. And they ended up not having time to drop off the kids. They were like, let's just take the kids. So they all met at my house and my grandparents ended up meeting them there because um, they had already come to my house once. Uh, cause the first couple days, like I met actually the night that, that my dad had called me, I went, he said, please, please go to my parents. And he called his parents and is like, I have a daughter and she's coming to see you. I mean, it was all so fast and they were like, okay. <laughs> and they were great and wonderful. Um, and welcomed me with open arms. And then like a, the next day, my dad's twin brother came with his wife and they met me 
with grandma and grandpa at my house. Oh, that's right. Um, yeah, right. Yep, before I met him before I met my dad. And then the next day or something like that is yeah. when It took us some time came. to get here. Yeah. Lenny had been sick and Lenny, we had things that we had to take care of before we left and then finally we were here. Yeah. And, um, well, he was running for um, just the piece. Just the piece, yeah. Political office, yeah. So her husband was recording this on a Facebook Live. Yes, so our family, his side, my mom and all of them were like, the best way for us all to be able to see it is if you do Facebook Live. We'll see it in real time. Like, we're anxious. My friends, like, um, my best friends that knew what was going on um, all wanted to see it. So David had it on his Facebook Live. And then um, uh, when they got there, my dad said something like, hey, so-and-so can't see the video can you make it, was it the next day can you make it public <clears throat> some of our friends couldn't see it yeah because david's was private so he's like oh sure so he changed it from private to public and then it spread like wildfire it, it was crazy. crazy like by the next day the news station was calling wanting yeah. to interview them but she and was, they did they were, they were also <laughs> recording because she was chronicling some of this in a youtube on a youtube yeah. channel so he had the camera that he was recording some of it right. on, and then he had the Facebook live for the family. So yeah, all of it just kind of came together the way that it did. And then the news people show up like the day before we left to go back home. Well, and to be honest, I didn't film it for YouTube. Oh, you didn't? No. Um, we were just filming it for ourselves. Okay. I had no intention on putting it on YouTube. Crazy. Nope. Not until I realized how many people were impacted. were impacted by the story on Facebook. Yeah. And then I was like, okay, I'll, I'll do it. I'll put it on YouTube. So then we, so David interviewing me in the beginning was really just for fun. He did that on his own. And in part because they were so nervous and we yeah. took so long to get it was, there. There was so much, like I was going back and forth and he just literally picked up the camera and was like, all right, so tell me how you're feeling. Like it was just funny. And, um, and is this guy ever going to get here? He's so slow. <laughs> Little did and they like, know. And it's funny because people get so annoyed with the video because David's like chewing gum and it's like, you know, shaky and what, but it was honestly not recorded for YouTube well, at all. It was, here. it was yeah. just for us. And then one of my cousins, well, Cameron, she, she actually Shh. did the whole editing and left it in there. And she's cause I, I wasn't editing videos on YouTube yet. Oh. I didn't know how to edit. Oh. I was just doing my videos and posting them on there, how they were. Cameron so was editing. Yeah. So like I, I, if I, was like this whole video that we're talking right now if I would have messed up I'd have to redo everything because I didn't know how to edit so uh, Cameron yes. actually edited that video and put it on YouTube for me how crazy mm -hmm. okay yeah so there you go so that's the story and it's been four years it will be four years since we moved that we've moved here or we will have been in San Antonio for four years in February it was four years that well we had February is when we met Kelsey mm -hmm. for the first time February of 2018 mm -hmm. and then September of 2018 is when we moved here mm -hmm. so we've been here for almost four years and there are days where it feels like we've known Kelsey our entire lives mm -hmm. and her entire life and then there's days where it's like okay it's only been four years like, yeah you know um, it's really weird because it really it does is. feel like it's been my whole life like, it is now so crazy. at this point Actually, shortly after, I mean, we spent a lot of time together in the first few months. We did. Like, a lot. Mm -hmm. um, in the first year, mm -hmm. probably. Yeah. And then we started just getting our new normal and living life and, you know. Well, and then you start running into conflicts with, like, conflicts with kids start getting yeah. a little more yeah. heated. And you've got to, you've got to address it. And you've got to yeah. let people work through their stuff, you know. Yeah. Um, we just took some time to kind of work that out. And, and that's been a long, that's been a long time. Yeah, that was a long time. That was like in the very beginning. Yeah. And then the first year it was resolved pretty, pretty quick. And you just, these, you know, on one hand, I'm the whole suck it up buttercup person. But on the other hand, I'm like, okay, they, we've got to let people sort through their feelings here. Right. Um, so we yeah. just, we gave a little bit of space, but also stayed in, in touch mm -hmm. and saw each other yep. and just kept it. And then it just got, it became normal to where it was like, okay, we'll see each other when we see each other. We don't have to spend every waking moment with each other. And right. I think that's what we were trying to do. And it was just too much like yeah. for everybody. And I think like, I didn't want to leave my dad's side. I didn't want to leave his side and crystals. Like I got along with her so well and it was just like so fun to be with them. But it also was hard on my husband and it was hard on the kids and you know. Well, and also in the midst of all of that, the first year that we moved here, 
your dad that raised you passed. Yes. And that was hard for you. That was really um, difficult. And, and that was hard for everybody, believe it or not. Like, there, that startup stuff, like, that brought feelings forward for Lenny as well. And, you know, there's just... Like, here's this man. Did I thank him enough for raising my daughter? Did and I then I felt guilty because that whole first year, I just focused so much on my dad, biological dad, and his family, and didn't really spend a lot of time with my dad who raised me that first year, you know? Like, not intentionally, but it just was what it was. And and then, so I had a lot of guilt behind that. And that was, that was a challenge. Yeah. And he was a good man. Mm -hmm. So here we are. And then, you know, Lenny... Lenny still struggles with elements of it all, like the whole why did I, why did I have to not know him for thirty years, yeah. or um, you know, that why did time I miss really out on time? But you, I, I tell him all the time, you can keep saying that, and you can keep going through these highs and lows where you feel that way, but you're just wasting thirty more years. So you need to snap out of it, and you need to see what's in front of you and embrace it and build memories now. Yeah. Um. While while you have her here, so this was supposed to be a thirty second. Backstory, and we are over 22 minutes. Oh my God. <laughs> but there you go. That's our story. That's There's our a life. ton of videos that I've made Tons. in the process over on my channel, and um, you can check them out. And yep, here we are. Yeah. I wish Lenny was here so that he could give his input too. That'd be um, another 45 minute oh, video. <laughs> awesome. He talks and he talks and he talks. Lots of talking. Um, but yeah, I'll leave links to all that stuff below. So there you have it. Those of you who are like, where is Kelsey? Here she is. Here she is. She's doing Still really, here. really well. She's just busy. Life is busy. Just, just like everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> and, and we just purchased a new property. So we're going to be doing Airbnb and that's going to take up a lot of time. So we'll see. I was thinking about possibly chronicling that process. Yes. That's a great place to start. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. I that could be a going. really good place to start. All right, guys. So there you have it. Hopefully this will be a really easy video for me to just edit and put together and give you guys this as an update. Cause I know so many of you genuinely ask where she's at and here she is. She's alive and well. She is. And she has pretty pink toes right now. So I do. And so Sophia, has, or Sophia has pretty blue toes. I know. So, all right guys, there you have it. Y'all have a great rest of your day. We'll see you in the next video. And I will try every month or every other month to make a conscious effort to include <laughs> Kelsey in a video when we're having our breakfast or whatever. Yes. Because we're recording. All right. Can you tell everybody bye? Bye. Sophia, can you tell everybody bye? Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye. All right, guys. Bye. We'll see you in the next video. Like and subscribe.